All right, everybody, welcome to the week three free pronunciation class live on Facebook. Um, we have students in the class today from all around the world, from many, many different countries, and of course, uh, friends and students watching and learning all around the world on the Facebook live video. We're going to do a quick introduction of the students who are in the class, and then we will start the learning. So first, let's talk about who's in class. Me, most importantly. Okay. Uh, I am Nick. I'm from California, and I'm happy that you're watching today from around the world. Uh, and then we also have uh, your name again, man? David. David. Yeah, that's right. Okay. D A. Okay. And then we have Majid from Yemen. We have Rayu from Panama. We have Leo and Mateus from Brazil. Yeah. Excellent. And we have Joao from Brazil. We have Lorena from Argentina. We have Saori from Japan. Did you study at the La Jolla campus before? That's right, that's why you look familiar. Okay, excellent. And then we have Bruno, he's been in all three classes so far. He's done excellent work. We have Samara, who's from Ivory Coast, right? Cote d'Ivoire? Okay, and then we have, uh, we have Junko. Are you from Japan, Junko? Excellent. We have Gonzalo from Argentina. Sahoko from Japan. We have uh, Natalie from Brazil. from Brazil, okay. We have Sanzia from Brazil, Minami from Japan, and then up here we have Amanda from Brazil. We have, I want to say it right, Flohana? Flohana? From which country, Flohana? French. From France, wonderful, okay. And then we have uh, Matsuko from, uh, from Japan, okay. We have Francesca, from which country, Francesca? Italy, excellent, okay, and we have Chengju from Taiwan, correct? We have uh, Ryoji from, oh, it might be too late, Andre, sorry. Okay, we have Ryoji from Japan, Elvis from Brazil, and we have Francisco from Argentina. So we have students from so many different countries who are here today in the class. That means all those different languages, that means that we're going to use a lot of English today, okay? So what are the two rules? Oh, if you're watching from around the world, if you are a student watching from... Uh, from France, if you're a student watching from India, from Russia, please type it in, okay? Type in in the comments, say, you know, hello from Italy, hello from uh, Paris, hello from uh, Munich, Germany, etc. If you're watching, type it into the comments, please, if you're watching around the world on Facebook Live. So, what are the two rules of my pronunciation class, you guys? I have two rules. Don't cross your arms, exactly. It's the salary on cross them, okay? Why? Why is that important to uncross your arms? Why does that matter? Yeah. You gotta feel it, okay? In my pronunciation class, it's really important to feel the good pronunciation. So if you uncross your arms, we're gonna be oh, ah, uh, oh, oh, ah. We're gonna be using our hands and really feeling our face in order to feel the good pronunciation today. It's really important, okay? So. Um, and then the second rule of my class is what? Who remembers the second rule? Be afraid of mistakes. Exactly, Joel. Good job. Okay, don't be afraid of mistakes. If you make mistakes, that's okay. You're trying. If you make mistakes, we're going to learn from your mistakes. All right, I'll help you improve if you make mistakes. Okay? So uh, it's important to speak up. Don't be afraid. We're all going to make mistakes in here. So let's get started. Uh, today we're going to play game called pronunciation bingo pronunciation bingo okay i have these 25 words on the board these 25 words are all similar to each other okay some of them even sound the same okay but they are not the same they're just close and a small difference in the sound of the words makes a big difference in what they mean so it's very important to focus on the little details of these words and really feel the good pronunciation, okay? So, the first one we're going to talk about today, we have this group of three right here. Let's use the blue, okay? Okay. For this one, uh, it's pretty easy. We're going to start by putting two fingers up in the air. Two fingers, please. Everybody put up two fingers, okay? And this one, do you guys know what this word means? It means when you have no hair. No hair, right? Uh, you are bald. For this one, touch right here. The sound comes from the back and the sides. Ah, 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 bald. No, no. I'm sorry. I have to change this. This is single finger. Okay? <laughs> this one is oh, oh, oh. No, ah, 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 bald. Ah, like clock and stop. 
and officer, bald. bald. It's not bald, <laughs> that was wrong. Yeah, this one is bald, okay? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Open big, okay? It's just ah, uh, uh, like an ah for ah, ah. Feel it. The sound comes from the back and the middle of your throat. Wow, I made a mistake on the first one. Okay, but remember, don't be afraid to make mistakes, right? Yeah. Even if you're the teacher. Okay, this one is a little bit different. This one is when something is extra strong. Where do we see this? Where have we seen this word before? Anyone familiar with it? When you use Microsoft Word, when you're typing a document in Microsoft Office, the B, when you click the B to make the word stronger, okay, that is bold. Okay, bold. That's what the B means, okay? Everyone, please take one finger again. I want you to touch your nose and touch your lips. This one is oh, oh. oh. I mean, I mean, you're doing it perfectly. Okay, very good. Oh, oh, oh. I like to call this the itchy nose sound. Okay, if you are gonna sneeze, right? And then you don't sneeze. You go, oh, oh, oh. I really want you to feel your nose and feel your lip covering your teeth. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, Lorena, you're doing it perfectly. I can really see the oh, oh, oh. A lot of students say, mm, whatever, bald. Uh, there's, that word is bald. It's like the word has no hair because you're just doing an ah, ah, ah. No, we need oh, bold, bold. This word is bold. It's stronger letters, darker letters than other ones, okay? Bold. So, for example, these are not bold, but this is pretty bold right here. It's stronger. I put more effort. It's a darker word here. It's bold. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, how are we looking? Is the video looking good? Do I look good? Yeah. yeah thank you. Okay. That's important. Okay. And then for this one down here, this is to construct something. This one is if we imagine our teeth. Okay. Right here. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Good job, Junko. You're doing it very well. Okay. And then imagine the top of your mouth right here. Okay. And our tongue is low. Good job, Salary. You are opening up. Breathe out more. This is not build. Okay, build. A lot of people say, I need to build a house in the new part of town. I'm going to build a house. No, I'm going to build. Francesca, do it for me. Give me build. Good. I saw you open up. Open up even more, breathe out even more. Boom. That's really good. You sound excellent. Okay, good job. Ryoji, give it a try for me. Give me boom. That sounds good. I really heard it. Elvis, now it's your turn. Boom. Good job. I saw you open up. I saw that your tongue was low and you were breathing out. Boom. Sanzia, try it. Boom. Good. Open up, breathe out. Okay, Samara, give it a try. Is it, uh, yeah, Samira, give it a try. Boom. Very good. Open more, please. Open more. Boom. That's good. Eh, eh, eh. It's not e, e, e. That's too easy. Okay. This is eh, eh, eh. Now, many students say, Nick, I don't hear the difference between build and build. Okay. And that's because your native language does not have an eh, eh, eh sound. Most languages, and I think all languages in the class today, do not have the eh, eh, eh. And so our ears cannot hear it. What's the difference? And that's important, but that's why it's more important to feel it today. Yeah. 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 Salary, give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Amanda, your turn. Yeah. Good. I saw you open up. I saw that you had the low tongue. Very good job. Let's go to all of these again. This one, put up that one finger. Ah, 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 ball. Oh. No hair, right? I'm ball. Oh. Oh. Okay. This one here, strong letters. Touch right here, touch your nose. Pull your nose down. Oh, bold, bold. You got it, Mateus. That looks great. Okay, nice job. And then this one here, low tongue. Build. Yeah, I need to build a house so I can live in it. Very good. Okay, this next one. This one is uh, two numbers that are very frequently confused, right? People have a hard time with these ones because they sound so similar when they hear English speakers speak them. For these ones, I'd like to use accent marks. I wish accent marks existed in English. They really don't. We don't use them much. But in Portuguese and Spanish and Italian, 
You use the act in French, definitely we use the accent marks. We have to use them today. For the bigger numbers, we're gonna stress the first syllable, 40, okay? Everybody say it with me, one, two, three, 40. 40. Good, so the second syllable is weak, 40. Okay, strong first syllable, okay? For the lower number, the smaller number, we're gonna stress the second syllable. 14. Everybody, one, two, three, 14. 14. 14. That's good. Okay, so this is the smaller number, the second syllable. Okay, 14. One more time, 14. 14. And now the bigger number, 40. 40. Good. You guys sound great. Now, when you're listening to someone speak in English, when you go to buy, for example, a hat, you're buying a hat, and the cashier is saying, okay, ma'am, that's going to be $40. And you're still going to say, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear it. Okay, it's always going to be difficult to hear what someone else says. But using your good pronunciation, okay, you can confirm with them. Excuse me, sir, did you say $40 for the hat or $14? And the person will say, oh, I'm sorry, $14 for the hat. They will say it. They will repeat it back to you more clearly if you use this trick, okay? So it's always gonna be difficult, even for me, I'm a native speaker of English, and my friends, we are native speakers, we still have difficulty with this, with 40, 50, 60. Sometimes, I'm sorry, did you say 50 or 15, okay? So for this one, it's very important to uh, learn this so you can explain it or ask someone who's trying to explain to you, okay? So let's do it one more time. The big number, one, two, three, 40. 40. 40. And now 14. 14. Good, you gotta feel the stress, okay? Good job. This is now gonna be a set of four of them right here. Let's do these four together, okay? This one, I want the two fingers, okay? Finally, do the two fingers, okay? Yes, now we're ready. Sorry, you're already doing it. I can see you're excited to try. Touch right here. Have your throat the sides. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. The sound comes from here. Hat. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, Gonzalo is wearing a hat. And he's pronouncing it very well. Hot is the temperature, right? It is getting a little hot in this room. That's single finger. Ah, ah, ah. Hot. Hot. So think about the difference between these two, okay? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. My hat makes my head hot. Okay, good. You guys are doing it great. Touch it. Feel the difference. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. In British English, they might say, oh, your hat is very nice. Okay. And that's going to, your hot. That's more British. In American English, we have the ah sound, like after, athlete. Okay. Um, we have a sacco is my last name. Okay. Although it's Italian, it should be pronounced Sacco, right, Francesca? Yes, but in America and the United States, we pronounced it Sacco. Okay, I'm sorry. I've lost my Italian heritage. Okay. Okay. So let's practice it together one more time. The two fingers. Hat. Gonzalo's wearing a hat. Okay. And then the temperature is getting hot. Hot. Good. And this one here, this one is high tongue. Okay. This one's pretty close. Think about the tongue and the teeth again. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And then think about the top of your mouth. Okay, think about your tongue. Your tongue is high. Heat. 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 That's an easy sound, right? That sound exists in French. It exists in Japanese. It exists in Italian. Heat. Okay. Yeah, that's easy. Good job. Think about your tongue. Think about, there's just a little air. Just a little bit of air. And that's a very natural sound in many languages, okay? This one, to punch someone, okay? This one is now low tongue. You guys sound great. Who is it doing over here? Is that Cheng Zhu doing that? Give it a try for me. Give me hit. Very good. Open up more, please, and breathe more. Hit. That sounds great. Good job. Yeah, all right, Magic, give it a try. Give me hit. Very good. I'll give you the high tongue. Heat. Heat. Very good. I really heard the difference. That was great. Let me give it a try for me. Give me heat with the high tongue. Heat. Heat. Very good. And now low tongue. Eh. Eh. Very good. I saw your mouth open more. Eh, eh, eh. All right. It's your turn. Give me first the high tongue, the easy one. Heat. Heat. Good. And now the low tongue. Breathe out. Eh. 
Very good. Many students say, Nick, I don't hear the difference. And that's all right. It's natural to have some difficulty with the <laughs> because the it doesn't exist, as we talked about earlier. Okay. What's important is to feel the difference today. Uh, even if your ears don't tell you there's a difference, if you can feel the difference in how open your mouth is, how low your tongue is, and how much air is coming out, yeah, I feel that difference. Yeah, that means you're saying it right. Okay? All right. Let's practice all four of these together. We have this one right here, two fingers, hat. 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 Single finger, hot. hot. Okay. High tongue, heat. 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 And low tongue, head. Yeah. You guys sound so good. Yeah. This is great. Okay, let's go ahead and do these two together now. This is one of my favorites to do because it's very easy. What is this? What does that word mean right there? Anyone know what this word means? Like it's, uh, when you're up there. Yeah, like stairs. Yeah. Be, yeah. When a fireman is going into a burning building, the building is on fire, the fireman will climb a ladder. Or if we have to change the lights, we will climb a ladder. Okay, that thing right there is the ladder, okay? That one is, again, with two fingers. So put those two fingers up. Give me the ah, 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 ladder. Ah, mouth open big, ah, 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 ladder, okay? This one, of course, is when you write a message to someone, you fold it up, you put it in an envelope, and you send a letter. These together when you say letter. These together, okay? So it's similar to ladder, but ladder is open. Ladder is closed, okay? <coughs> if you decide you're going to be lazy, say, oh, whatever. I need to mail a ladder to my friends in France, okay? I need to mail a ladder? That's going to be super expensive to mail a ladder to France. Wow, because a ladder is really heavy, okay? So, oh, no, I'm sorry. I need to mail a letter to my friends. Uh, oh, mailing a letter will cost a couple dollars. Mailing a ladder will probably cost two or three hundred dollars because it's so heavy, so big, right? So that is a ladder and this is a letter. Let's do it again together. Let's do the two fingers. One, two, three, ladder. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go, you got it? Let's see those fingers. Good job. Yeah, okay. And then this one here, letter. Yeah. Feet together. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Francis Francisco, give it a try. Give me letter. Good. Now give me ladder. Good job. I really heard the opening up. The ah, ah, ah. Good work. Okay. Um, let's do these ones up here next. Let's do this group of three together. Okay. For this one here, what is this right here? What does this mean? What is this? A feast. What does that mean? Nobody? Okay. It's a big dinner. A big like dinner party together. What is a holiday in the USA when we have a feast with our friends and family? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Very good. On Thanksgiving, we have a feast and we eat a big turkey. We eat a bunch of vegetables, potatoes. We share them with everybody in a big feast. Okay. In uh, in uh, in Islam, you guys do Eid after after Ramadan, right? Yeah. And Eid is a big feast where everybody has food together and celebrates their friends and family and the people they love for Eid. Am I saying it right? Is it Eid? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay. So they will have a big feast for that. With feast, okay. Again, your tongue is high in your mouth. Okay, it's easy to say feast, okay? That's so simple, right? We've already practiced that. Let's go to this one down in the bottom here, though, okay? This one is low in your mouth, and this is when you put your hand together like you're going to fight. This is a fist. Good. Breathe out, low tongue, fist. Yeah, okay. Boom, okay. A fist. Fist thing, okay? This one, again, is the two fingers. Fast. Fast. Yeah. 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 You got it, Sanzi. You're looking good. Really feeling it. Good work. Ah, ah, ah. Let's practice them together. High tongue. East. East. Two fingers. Fast. 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 Low tongue. Fist. Fast. Good. All right. The next ones. Let's practice these two together now. Okay? All right. Uh, this. Oh, no. There are three of them. There are three. Let's include this one. Okay, this one right here. Minami, do you remember in La Jolla when I did this word when I, when I, and the camera fell over? Okay, so if you're mad at somebody and you go, come on, okay, stop it. That's to stomp, okay? When I did the video in La Jolla a few months ago, 
I demonstrated a stomp, and the camera fell over in, in the live video. Was, oh, no! Okay, so I've got to be very careful to stomp. Everybody stomp right now. Go ahead. Stomp. Do it. Yeah. Okay. If there's a spider on the floor of your house, right, maybe you'll use some paper and throw it outside. I recommend that. But some people will just stomp the spider. Okay. That one is the single finger. Ah, ah, ah. Stomp. Yeah, you got it. This one here, when you need to mail a letter, you're going to put a, a stamp on the letter. That one is ah, ah, ah. Stamp. Yeah, very good. And this one is when you cut down a tree. Okay? It would look like this. You cut down a tree. Okay, you have a tree here, and it's beautiful. Right? And then you cut it down. Okay? And when you cut down the tree, what's still here is the stump. Oh. Yeah, and this is one of my favorite ones to teach. Everybody put up your fist. This is a word we didn't learn. Fist. Put up your put up your hand. Okay? And this one, let me stand over here. This one is uh, stump. Oh. Yeah, you gotta have the pressure. Uh, Ray, you feeling it? Stump. Yeah, good job. You're doing a little more ah, I want uh. Give it a try again. Stump. That's good. Very good. Right? Very different from stomp because in stomp it's just ah ah ah. Like socks and officer ah ah ah. The sound is all right here. For stump. Ah. Yeah. Saori, you sound great. Okay, good job. All right. Uh, let's go to Junko. Give it to us. Say, give us stump. Good. Did you see her move her head? Because she's putting the pressure. That's important. Okay. Let's go to, uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to Natalie. Give us stump. Good job. Did you see her move like that? <laughs> She's doing it right. That's great. She's doing it very well. So, Mira, give it a try. Stomp. Good. I heard the uh. It feels a little different, but if you say, oh, I cut down the tree in front of my house, now what's left is a stomp. A stomp is left after you cut down the tree? A stomp? Oh, no. You mean after the tree, you cut it down, what's left is a stomp. Okay. The pressure is important. Lorena, try it for me. Stomp. Stomp. Good. Rob, <laughs> your turn now. Stomp. Stomp. Good job. Elvis, stomp. Stomp. All right. And uh, uh, Mutsuko, give it a try. Stomp. Stomp. Good job. I really heard the pressure. So good. You guys are doing a great job. All right, Brave, try it again. Stomp. Stomp. Good. And David, have you give it a try. Stomp. Stomp. Yeah, that pressure is important. It's really important. Okay. Good job. Let's review these all together. One, two, three. Stomp. 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 One, two, three. Stamp. Yeah. And one, two, three, stomp. stomp. Yeah, great job, you guys. Okay, this next one here. Let's go to this one. Does anyone have any earrings that are the circle earrings? Yeah, so, uh, Sanzia, you do. Those are hoop earrings. Okay, hoop. Or also when you do that exercise with the plastic thing and you do this, that is a hula hoop. Ooh. Okay, for this one, it's the kissing motion. Ooh, hoop. Okay, so hoop, you're doing a hula hoop. Is anyone in here good at the hula hoop? No. Yeah, sounds like you can do it. Yeah, okay. I can't. I try and I get like three or four seconds and it falls <laughs> down, right? But some people are just so good at it. Nah, not me, okay? So that is a hoop, ooh, 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 ooh. okay? Like suit and super, okay? And food, okay? This one is that itchy nose again. Everybody touch your nose, pull your nose down. This one is hope. Oh. Yeah, oh. oh, okay, very good. I hope the weather is good this weekend. It will be, okay? I hope, oh, oh. And this one here, this one is a single finger again. Ah, 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 hop, 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 a small jump. What are some animals that hop, you guys? What are animals that hop? Kangaroo? Kangaroo? And other ones? Rabbits. Rabbits and kangaroos are most famous. They hop, okay? Right, three of them, kissing motion, one, two, three, woo, woo. and then one, two, three, hope, oh. Oh. good, and one, two, three, hop. hop, very good, I hear the difference, okay, next one, we're almost to the end, okay, <clears throat> this one here, this is low tongue, this one is eh, dig, dig. what does this mean, to dig, <laughs> Samira, I think you're doing it, right, yeah, if you have to make a hole in the ground, or if there's snow outside of your house, you have to dig the snow, okay? That's the present form, okay? This one is the past form, the second form, and the third form. 
This one is the fist again. You guys ready? That sounds it's like, no, no more, I hit myself. One, two, three, dug. Yeah, I dug all the snow yesterday. Everything's okay. I dug the snow. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Okay? So dig is the present, okay? Uh, I dig the snow frequently. I dug the snow yesterday. And this one we all know, right? This one is aw. Oh, no pressure for this one. Oh, no. oh, oh. No. And much pressure. Oh. Oh. And then this one, low tongue. Dude. You guys sound fantastic. Okay, we're almost done. This is one of the hardest ones left. This one here is single finger. Oh, oh, oh. My pillow is soft. Oh. 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 My pillow is soft. Okay, this one is a new sound. I'm going to do this one close for the camera. I want your lips forward and open. Err. Not ah. A lot of people want to go ah, and that's not this. This is er, sir. Er, sir. You know I me, mean? you're doing it. Good job, sir. You've been practicing, I can tell. It's not soft. If you do ah, it's like soft. I soft yesterday. I soft yesterday? Soft what? Oh, oh I surf yesterday. And that's what they give it a try. Get me served. Good job, but I want more lips forward and open. Er. That's better. I really heard it that time too. Good job. So we'll give it a try. Give me served. Sahoko, try it for me. Give me served. Good. I saw it. A lot of Japanese students do more of the ah sound. You did a good job with the er. Very good. All right. Bruno, give it a try. Give me served. Good. The lips look for perfect. It sounded great. Served. I served yesterday. Francesca, try it. Served. Good. And the lips were doing it perfectly. Ryoji, try it. Served. Good. And now, uh, Chengju, give it a try. I surfed yesterday. Good. Give me more of the lips forward. Er, that's better. Okay, good job. You were kind of in the middle with ah and ah. Uh, I want er. That's great. Good job. All right. And uh, Salary, give it a try. I surfed yesterday. Okay, you're doing kind of in the middle. You're kind of ah. I want er. So more lips forward. Er, that's better. I surfed yesterday. All right. And Amanda, one more time. Surfed. Sure. Good. Let's do them all together a review and then we're going to do our game after this. You guys ready? Okay, get those hands ready here because we're going to remember we're going to touch the right places. Yeah. This one here, ah, 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 ball. 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 Together for letter. Okay, open up wide for ladder. Good. And this one here, big party with lots of food. High tongue. Okay, this one here, super fast. Yeah, like a Formula One car. This one here, what you do when you're gonna punch somebody, you make a low tongue fist. Okay, this one here, we got stomp. This one's ah ah ah. Okay. This one here, when you put this on an envelope to send a letter, you're going to use a stamp. Yeah. yeah, and then of course, this one here, when you cut down a tree, what remains Stop. of a tree is the stump. Stump with the pressure. Okay, back up here, kissing motion. Ooh, hoop. Good. Oh, I hope. This is itchy nose. Oh, oh. And this one here, small jump. Ah, 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 ha. Very good. Up here, low tongue. Dig. Yeah. I did dig all that snow. Not dig, dig. Okay, this one, we know this one. Dog. Ah, ah, ah. This one here, though. Hit your stomach again. Dog. I dug all the snow yesterday. I don't want to do it again. Okay, last one. Soft. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, and then here, lips forward and open. Err. Served. I served. On Saturday, early. Err. So your lips are forward but open. Err. All right, excellent. We're going to switch to playing a game next. So that's the end of the live pronunciation video. Uh, if you are watching around the world, thank you for watching. Thank you for learning with Connect English. Uh, if you have questions about the program, you can visit us on our website, which is connectenglish.edu. Thank you for watching. We do this every week on Wednesdays, so you can watch again in seven days at 1.45 p.m. You hear that, people outside? 1.45 p.m., not 2. Okay. All right, let's give a bye world from the whole class. You guys ready? 
Okay, here we go. On the count of three, we're going to say, bye world, okay? Bye. One, two, three. Bye world! Oh, we still have to do our ceremony. Hold on. Put your hand in front of you like this. Okay, turn your hand like this and pat yourself on the back. Oh, good job. You guys all did good work today. All right. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great week, a great weekend. See you in seven more days. We'll do it again. Thanks.